Hello there. Welcome to Blink and Beep. Thanks a lot for choosing to watch this video. In this video, we will see how to use the countdown timer, schedule and astronomical features of the Vipro Next Smart Home app uh, to control our smart devices such as smart plug or a light bulb or any such Vipro smart devices. For this video, I will use my Vipro smart plug uh, to demo the different features I just mentioned. With that said, let's get into the steps. So we are in the home screen of the app and uh, I have my Vipro 16 amp smart plug configured already. If you have not done this yet, I have a video on how to install the Vipro Next Smart app and uh, the steps to configure the smart plug. The link should be on the screen and uh, in the description of this video, check it out if needed. If you already have the Vipro smart plug configured, then click on it. Down below, we see the timer icon click on it it takes us to the new screen where we see three more options on top the uh, countdown schedule and astronomical so currently we are in schedule tab uh, let's get to the countdown tab real quick this is pretty straightforward and a simple feature you can set a time interval after which uh, in my case the Vipro smart plug will toggle its state for example if my smart plug is on then after the set interval the plug will turn off let's say i set the interval for just two minutes and uh, click on the play icon down below we see a countdown and if we wait until the end uh, like i said the vipro smart plug will toggle its state and if we would like to remove this action simply click on the trash icon and uh, the timer will stop for us now let's get to the schedule tab clicking on it it's again straightforward so you can set a time when you want your smart device to do an action uh, such as turn itself on or off once the schedule is created your smart device such as the plug or light bulb will do the desired action at the time set let me try to add a new schedule by clicking on add schedule button down below it takes us to a new screen. The first step is to select the time at when you want the action to be performed. Let's say for example, I have a heater connected to my smart plug and uh, I would like it to turn on in the mornings at uh, 7.30 am exactly. All I have to do is select the time at 7.30 am then select the days when this action is to be repeated. I will select all the days. They should all turn green and now I need to set the action that has to be performed. In my case, I wanted to turn it on. So clicking on confirm and finally click on save on top right. So we have scheduled the plug to turn on at uh, 7.30 am every day. Similarly, we will create a schedule to turn off the smart plug after 10 minutes, assuming that we want the heater to turn off in 10 minutes. Click on add schedule. We will choose the time as 7.40. Select all days again. Choose the action as uh, switch off and click on confirm. Then click on save. And that's it. We have a setup for our smart plug to on and uh, off our water heater regularly. So we can click on this toggle temporarily uh, to disable our schedule and uh, toggle it back when you feel that you need it back. So if you don't want the schedule anymore, then long click the schedule and uh, click on confirm which will delete the schedule for you. Also, there is one more way to use the schedule. Say for example, instead of wanting the schedule to happen on uh, multiple days, you just want the scheduled action to be performed only once, like just this one time. It's simple, click add schedule again, select a time when you want this action to be performed and uh, simply don't select any days here, instead skip it and uh, set the action that you want to perform like turn off click on confirm and click on save 
Now, if you see the list here, there is a schedule created which says once and the action is mentioned as switch one off. So when the time comes, it runs and once done, it goes into disabled state. So that's about the schedule. Uh, we will now move to the astronomical tab and see what it offers different from these two tabs. Clicking on it. So we are given with two actions which are uh, disabled as of now. So what this means is that we can set up schedule based on the sunrise and uh, sunset timings of your location. Let's see a quick demo. I am clicking on sunrise first. Here first thing we see is before and uh, after sunrise. So let's say that we have a light bulb connected to our uh, plug and uh, we want it to turn off as soon as the sun rises. So to achieve it, I will select after sunrise and uh, in about 15 minutes. Okay. I want the smart plug to turn off allowing the light bulb to be turned off. And of course I would want this action on all the 7 days during sunrise and uh, the switch will be turned off. Click confirm and uh, just save it. Now we see that the location button is enabled, clicking on it. So it allows you to choose your location and uh, click save. So the app will now smartly get the sunrise time for the location and as I have said it will execute the schedule after 15 minutes of sunrise. Similarly we can do the same for sunset as well, click on sunset. So before. 10 minutes from the sunset and on all days I will turn on the smart plug which turns on the light bulb for me and save it. So we have our sunrise and the sunset action scheduled for our smart plug. Again we can turn them off temporarily if needed or we can delete the schedule by long pressing them and clicking on the confirm button. So the screen has some refresh issues so we just have to navigate back and forth just to see if the action that we performed has been updated. With that we come to the end of this video, hope it was helpful. Since it was a screen recording I was not able to show my smart plug in action but I can guarantee the smart plug works without any trouble for the schedules we set. Catch you in another video, thank you, bye bye.